everyone, welcome to Hunter Gatherer Cooking, where today we're going to be cooking on fire using the cast iron uh, pot and we're going to be making ox cheek stew. Okay, so I've loaded up the chimney with the big K uh, briquettes. These things are absolutely amazing. They do take a little bit of um, uh, sort of going, so I'm going to use a few of the, um, the Lecto Woods fire lighters. And that can just sit on top there, like that. And they'll be good to go in about, I don't know, 10, 15, 20 minutes, we'll see how they are. Okay, so whilst the coals are uh, just warming up, I'll show you what we're doing, and we are cheating a little bit. So in the stew, I'm just using up what we've got in the fridge. So we've got onions, we've got some squash, we've got some potatoes, thyme and rosemary from the garden, some carrots, a couple of um, stock cubes, and then we're going to put some of this amazing Prohibition Ale um, in, in there as well, which I can't wait to try. So in there is literally just the onions, a bit of butter, a bit of salt and pepper, um, and some oil. I'm just going to brown those off. So when they've got a little bit of colour like that on there, that's when I like to add the herbs in, just to get the, uh, the party started. Just pile it up on the side. And we're gonna just quickly braise these cheeks. Absolutely huge. Beauty. There we go. So we're not cooking it, we're just putting some colour on it, that's it, and then that's gonna come off the heat in a second. So we've taken that off the heat. Everything else then goes in. It's all in there now, stock cubes are in there. Let's just put some of this in in me. Beautiful. And then I've got some hot water as well, just to top that up. And then we'll give that a little stir. Let's go check on the coals. Okay, so they are, wow, absolutely piping hot. They take a while to get going, but my God, when they start, they don't stop. So it's time to pour them out now. Okay, so once they're all poured out, depending on how you're doing yours, um, I just lay mine flat. But these really are really, 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 really hot. Okay, and once they're all flat, I'm using this Oh, this old grill grate to rest on top and then the pot sits on top. There we go, I've taken the lid off just to show you, but the lid's got to go on now. Like that. And we'll see that and we'll check it in a couple of hours. So we're about an hour and a half, nearly two hours in. I just wanted to check it, make sure all was well. The smell out in the garden is absolutely unreal. I wish you could uh, smell and taste this, but um, that's gonna just go on, lid back on, and uh, I'll check it again in a few more hours. So we are about six hours, no, about seven hours on. Ah, that's so hot. That is looking absolutely phenomenal. Let's get a spoon. Let's have a little look, shall we? Yeah, the potatoes are really, really soft. Let's have a little look. Wow, look at that. Just falling apart, that cheek. That's exactly the way you want it. I love these one pot. Uh, meals because once you've prepped and it's off you just leave it and now it's done um, I'm breaking up some of this spud just to um, thicken it sort of naturally I want to leave the the meat as chunky as possible but that is just looking beautiful I'm really happy with that 
So I hope you've enjoyed that one. Uh, it's gonna taste amazing. I know everyone does their stews differently, but the weather's changing. It's nice today, luckily, but I just thought it's time for a stew. So um, those ox cheeks look phenomenal. I've got some more ox cheeks that I'm gonna be smoking soon. Um, so stay tuned for that one. So if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, give it one of those. Um, and I'll see you soon.